Hello everyone, today we're working on a stereo replacement in a 2001 Jeep Cherokee XJ. Uh, the same process goes for, I do believe it's from 97 to 01. Prior to that, the process may be a little bit different. I've already made up the wiring harness. The wiring harness is straightforward. The only thing that's different on these, on the back of the stereo, the factory, there's a prong that uh, they use for the ground. There's not going to be a ground on the aftermarket plugs, so you have to have a male connection for the ground. And then I've already put the, the stereo in together. It's just a standard Pioneer stereo. So what you're going to do is start off, uh, you pull your emergency brake on, turn your ignition on so you can bring the vehicle all the way down into your first, second gear, whichever it is down here. You're going to reach down to the very bottom, and there's tab. Like, there's tabs built in. Pop those, and then and there's two tabs at the top that pop loose. And once you have that off, you can turn the vehicle back off. It is suggested that you disconnect the negative terminal on the battery. The size of these bolts screws it may vary you may have a, uh, a standard hex head you may have a uh, Phillips head built into it but on this one it is a 3 8 inch and that's using it on a nut driver and you have one in each corner the stereo slides out have your antenna connection here is the ground that I was talking about and then you have the two speaker connections actually and then you have the two connections for your speakers power there is a tab that you pull out on each one This is the tab that that ground slides onto, which you've made this connection for. We'll set that out of the way. We'll go ahead and make our connections here. Obviously gray goes to gray. Black to black. And then you have your ground connection. And before we bolt everything up, we'll test to make sure that we're running right. off. Tuck all the wires nice and neat. And then you use the same factory bolts to put it back in.
Okay. And with your ignition turned back on, your emergency brake on, bring it all the way back down into uh, first, second gear. I find that it's easier to line up the bottom ones first and then come into the top. And there it is, folks. Turn it on again, make sure we still got good sound. And we did. Thanks for watching.